Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, Sight friend. Boys back gone. We uh is coming back to you from Walks Music with another word for the day. Tuesday morning edition. And we wanna say that we give God all the praise and glory for life has the strength for it, whether it is. And we also thank God for each and every one of you, Sight friends, you know who you are. I just want to say again, people, that Middle Man once again is having some network issues, network troubles, uh, as before. I've uh, been having some issues now for quite some time, and uh, it's with my network. Uh, I thought it was one time with my PC, but it's not with my PC this time. It's with the network itself, and um, I'm having some major, major pains with it. Uh, I'm not being able to do certain things. Uh, YouTube is all messed up. Uh, Twitter, uh, I, when I post videos, sometimes they go to an account that I, well, <clears throat> I don't even know where it goes. I, I got two accounts, and one I had to cut out one time. I thought it was gone, and then it, it automatically, it, suddenly, I realized that it was still on YouTube, Mini Man 45. I realized I hadn't made another one because of that, as an attempt to rectify some things that were going wrong with it. I created another one. But nevertheless, now that is messed up also. We're not going to worry about it. Blog Talk Radio is running pretty good now again. Uh, matter of fact, I had a little issue on one of the broadcasts on, about a week or so ago. And uh, we had some people like Brother JT say he couldn't get in. In other words, and I, I saw him try to get in. And, uh, but there wasn't nothing I could do. But nevertheless, people, I want to talk to you this morning about Jesus. Jesus, the problem, fixer. That's what I call this video. Uh, first of all, let me say something. Um, I, I traveled last night, uh, something which I don't normally do on a Monday because I try to take Monday to recuperate from weekend. But I did travel last night with uh, my former third son of church, Pleasant Grove where me. I went, I traveled north with them to... Um, Lumpkin, Georgia. As a matter of fact, on the other side of Lumpkin, closer to Omaha, Georgia, and uh, they had that uh, Pastor Stephanie Walton did a revival, and uh, the church was on, and uh, we went and we had a good time. And, uh, we always do. Uh, like I said, I played for this. I played for this church for just about 20 years, ever since I've been back to Georgia. I got out of the military and uh, just up a few years ago. But nevertheless, I, I try to help them out whenever I can. If they ask, I try to go with them. But what I'm saying, people, I don't get on videos. I don't get on YouTube and to try to act like that. I got everything figured out because let me tell you something, Middle Man don't have nothing figured out. And I don't try to be an authority in a, in a, in a, on every subject because I'm not. I can't tell preachers how to preach because I'm not a preacher. I'm not a minister of the gospel. And I'm not going to get up here and try to advise ministers because I'm not a minister. I don't know what it takes to lead a flock. And I'm quite sure it takes, I mean, being a minister of music, that's what I am. But I'm, I'm talking about another minister of the cloth. <clears throat> and excuse me, y'all, uh, this morning for my voice. But what I'm saying is, Whatever your vocation is, that's why I feel that we should remain. Now, I remember me. God, I tell you that Jesus is a problem solver. He's a problem fixer. He will fix it for you, no matter what it is, if you trust him. And uh, that's all I can say. I don't try. I can't come on here and tell you your, your condition and try to give you. The only thing I can point you to is Jesus. That's it. Many man has no answer. I mean, I, I, I'm not called to the world. That'll make me be Jesus. The only thing I'd say is I try to give people encouragement. If uh, I give you encouraging word and let you know what God did for me. And I know that I had my battle with alcohol. I had my battle with the smoking, the, the cigarettes, and, and all the nine yards. And see, the thing I want everybody to know, those things are not good for our bodies, period. I'm not, these things will not. I don't believe, this is just my opinion now, Mitty Man, this is Mitty Man opinion. I don't believe a cigarette will keep you out from the kingdom of God. I don't believe that. It's just something from what I know about the word of God. Jesus is merciful. 
And uh, but the one thing about it, see, middle man may not know what your problem and what you're going through, but God do. See, that's the thing about it. See, that's the key. That's how come we need to sometimes just get out of people's way, love them, be there for them, give them an encouraging word. But we need to stop beating people over the head for this, the thing that we think that they ought to stop doing. Remember, we once were in that same predicament. We were once. I know myself. I can speak about middle man. I, I struggle with alcohol. Not a whole lot of years, but a, but a, but a, quite a few. I drank a whole lot real fast. And then the Lord came. I asked him to deliver me, and he did. The smoking went from very much further than the, than the liquor drink. But because I, I, I smoked ever since high school. And I didn't stop that up until like 2007. 2007 when I stopped smoking a cigarette. And I didn't do it, people. Remember. It was not many men that stopped drinking. It was not many men that stopped smoking. But I wanted to stop. God did what I couldn't do. He came and took it away. He renewed me and, and, and gave me the strength to endure. And now that I sit here before you this morning, the only thing I can tell you is whatever your situation is, I do believe that God can help you too. See, your, 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 your problem may not be alcohol like it was with me or smoking or other things. But we all got something that we're dealing with. And I don't get here and try to act like that I'm an authority on every subject because, you know, I make myself look like a fool trying to advise folks on every subject. Wait a minute, who am I? That made me be Holy Ghost Junior. No, no, no. But I am telling you that whatever your problem is, take it to Jesus. And just like he fixed it for me, he'll fix it for you. But the thing, I want to say this here, I want to make certain I emphasize this. We need to stop worrying about people, so many things that, uh, that like, you know, we're trying to act like we are doing such a great job and we're getting points. No, no, no. Salvation is a gift. We are sinners saved by grace. Not of works, lest any man should boast. See, in other words, if we could do that, then I could boast about how much better I'm doing more than you. And you could in return boast about how much more, more better you're doing than the next person. No, it's we are saved by grace. We are saved through the blood-bought deed of Jesus his blood that he shed on Calvary. This is what makes us saved. Nothing else. So what we need to do, we need to encourage each other in these times that we're living in. In the Bible study, I don't know about nobody else's Bible study. I can only speak about the little, little one that God had told me to do. Mine is to encourage. In the world we're living in right now, the world is dark. A lot of lawlessness. Jesus told us these things were going to happen. But we cannot just stop. I know it makes it, with the economy the way it is, the, the, the world condition of all the violence and the wars and everything, it makes people just want to stop and just quit and get off. No, we can't do that. We must occupy until Jesus comes. In other words, whatever you are doing, you need to continue to do it. And I'm talking not only to you this morning, but I'm talking to me, the man, myself. I have a great tendency sometimes when I sit here and I think about what's going on in this world and sometimes I, I feel like I, it's just no use of doing anything because we, we get up one morning and might not even be a word. That's the, that's the mentality that Satan wants to put in our mind. But no, no, we need to continue to do just what Jesus told us to do. Whatever your vocation is, continue to do just that. But I mean your vocation. Don't try to do mine. Do yours. And, 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 and always be willing to give a listening ear to everybody to come to you because you don't never know that person might be on the very edge of, 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 of taking their own life. I, I, I'm the reason I can say it because I know I've been there and I've done that. And I have talked to people and I didn't even realize if I had not talked to them, they were thinking about the end of their life. So what many man is going to come here, I'm going to let you know that the Bible study will go on. Matter of fact, it is tonight. Uh, we're going to do what thus says the Lord. We're going to talk encouragement. We're going to encourage one another. I will never try to judge no one because I remember me. And the only thing I can do is point you to the cross. And that's all me the man will ever do. If you ever keep see me the man going with a video where he condemning anybody for any sin, because like I said, God didn't sit, get off his throne and put me on there and told, tell, told me I was in charge. No. I'm saved by grace. 
And when God saved me, he did not lose all his power to save you. So whoever you might be, I don't care what conditions, what situation you might think you're in that you cannot handle. And you know what? If you think you can't handle it, you are right. But Jesus can. Give it to Jesus. And he'll, make it, he'll work it out. So until tonight, we hope that we're going to continue our study with the prophetic. We're talking about end time. Uh, we, we're, we're, gonna, we're just going to keep on preaching the truth. The truth. We're going to teach the truth. We're not going to sugarcoat it. We're going to lay it out there just like it is. And so with that being said, this bitter man saying whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God is not in it, come on out because it's going gonna, it's gonna to come to nothing. So we hope to see some of you tonight in Blog Talk Radio, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until the end, this is Man saying peace. Goodbye.